I'm here today at Holcroft Fisher to tell you about our new wafters. There's lots and lots of these type of baits on the market. What we've done, we've stuck with the four main flavours that seem to work for catching carp, F1s and also skimmers. The four flavours that we've picked are Scorpex, fish meal, pineapple and chocolate orange. These have proven to work really well for catching fish. These four wafters are available in 6mm and also 8mm sizes. All these flavours and colours work on particular days. What I've found through the winter, I've been fishing a lot at Lindholm Lakes and when the water's been really coloured, the best colour has been the orange wafter. The orange wafter in the 6mm size or the 8mm size, when the water's coloured, stands out really well and it's a flavour that the fish want to pick out when the water is most coloured. Of course, you're introducing also fish meal type pellets. So when the fish are eating the fish meal type pellets, the next wafter to look at is the fish meal wafter itself. It's a bait that the fish always want to pick up because they're picking up pellets that's fish meal flavoured and the fish meal wafter works brilliant when the fish want to feed on the pellets. The next wafter to look at is the Scorpex wafter. Scorpex has been around for, well, it seems like a millennium. Scorpex works when you're fishing. So the Scorpex type wafter is one that the fish will pick up in any conditions whatsoever. When that bait is on the feeder, they can pick out that bait instantly because Scorpex is a very popular flavour that works well for all fishing situations. One bait that works particularly well in winter time is bread. The fish pick out the light coloured white bread in the water. And of course your Scorpex type wafter is also light coloured, it's white in its finish. One of the main wafters that I've used through the winter months is the pineapple wafter. And in a 6mm size it's been fantastic for catching both carp and F1s. Its bright yellow fluorescent colour stands out above a method feeder. And when fish want to pick up a bait, the yellow one is fantastic in the winter months. But it also, in the bigger sizes, once it gets to summer, stepping up to an 8mm can be brilliant for selecting all types of fish. These wafters have quite a leathery finish to them. They're easy when you're fishing with hair rigs, with bands, spikes, whatever, you can easily get them onto the hair rig itself. What you've got to realise is that these wafters are semi-buoyant. So you need to match the hook size to the bait. And this is ever so simple to do. The simple way I can explain this is with a, a size 6mm wafter, you need usually about a size 16 hook. What you're wanting is the wafter just to sit up above the hook. But of course, the weight of the hook is important that it holds it down onto the bottom or onto the method. When you're using an 8mm size, often the size of hook is either a 12, maybe even a 10 at times to keep that wafter down on the bottom or fixed to that method feeder. Matching the hook to the wafter, your bait is critically balanced. So when a carp comes up to suck up that bait, it's almost sucking up nothing other than the wafter. It doesn't feel the hook at all. All these baits come in small, handy sized pots. The main thing with wafters, you need a pot that seals and these pots seal because you don't want them to get wet. If your hands are wet, don't be delving into your pot of wafters. Take two or three out and keep them dry. This is the best way to use this bait. There's two main ways to mount a wafter. One is on a spike on a hair rig, the other one is with a band on a hair rig. The main discipline is to use wafters with a method feeder. And this is a, very simple that once this bait is on the feeder, when those pellets or ground bait start to break down, the wafter just pops above the feeder. And it's absolutely perfect way of presenting a bait to the fish when they want to eat. 
Although I've said the main way to use wafters is with a method feeder, you can also use them with a straight lead or a straight bomb type rig. When you're loose feeding either 6mm or 8mm pellets, as long as you critically balance that bait, maybe a, an 8 or even a 6 in winter time, you can fish them on a straight lead rig also. The other thing to mention also is fishing them on a waggler. In the summertime, when the fish are up shallow, again, if you can balance that bait so it's just falling through the water, a wafter can be deadly when you're loose feeding and fishing shallow with a waggler. I've tested these wafters for all through winter time and part of the summer last year. My favourite one is the pineapple one. I've caught so many fish on this bait that it just works for me and I'm sure it'll work for you. To match the wafters, we've also brought out some bait sprays, fish attracting bait sprays. They're the same flavours as what the wafters are. Now you use these is quite simple. What I've done through the winter time is just added four or five pumps, the very, very strong flavours. I've added four or five pumps to the water when I've soaked up the micro pellets for the method feeder. The other way to use them as well is once you've loaded that feeder, just to spray over the top of the method feeder. Once it enters the water, you've got that extra attractant to the fish. These sprays are simple to use and they're just in small bottles where you can spray easily over the top of each bait or feeder. Of course, there's multiple different ways you can use these bait sprays. You can use them for spraying on maggots, on sweet corn, on the bait itself to put onto the feeder. There's lots of different ways. They're there for you to experiment with. These 50ml bottles you can carry it in your box, you can put in your little bait bag. They don't take up much room. They're there for you to try.